Okay, Deputy Pittman uh, this morning on the radio with Ian Lamarck, I'll make your, your review and this is the BDO. Mm -hmm. uh, surprisingly, um, Ian Lamarck, in the main, Senator Ian Lamarck, the Home Affairs Minister, in the main, uh, agreed with, with, with your criticisms of, of the Jersey media, the media's reporting um, of this historic abuse expenditure and everything. Uh, do you think if he had raised his concerns sooner that he seems to have now, if he'd have raised these concerns sooner, your panel wouldn't have had half the work to do that you, that, that, that you did do? I think that's a fair comment. If he had voiced these concerns, uh, which as you say, he did agree with the majority of what I had to say and what the panel had had to say this morning, then perhaps he wouldn't be here now because some of that could have been nipped in the bud. Uh, this, this constantly negative spin that all the money was wasted, that it was a bungled operation, that everything was down to you know, the mistakes of two men. That myth couldn't have grown up. Uh, and yes, we probably wouldn't be here. So hindsight's a wonderful thing, isn't it? Well, is it, indeed it is. Now, Ian Lamarcott did say that um, he approached you to put out a joint press release uh, to that fact that mm -hmm. the the media have reported very poorly mm -hmm. and one-sided on this. Is that going to happen? Are you and the Home Affairs Minister going to do this press release? Well, that offer, if we can call it an offer, arose from our interviews with the Minister during the course of the review. Um, he agreed that it might be a good idea. I think it is a very good idea. Unfortunately, he's left it to a, a time where the panel has ceased to exist, or it certainly will by the end of the week. The Home Affairs and Education yep. Scrutiny Panel, you've all resigned, haven't you? We have. We said once the report was out, we'd resign. And of course, the minister may no longer be Home Affairs Minister by next week. It may be someone else. But I must say that I'm still very happy as a politician to put my name to something. I think it would be beneficial. I'm sure Deputy Arisia and Deputy Wimberley would do so. And so if the minister wants to do that, I think we could actually show that perhaps we can actually move forward, that there's recognition that there has been some, some, there's been some coverage that really shouldn't have happened. It was sloppy. It was not right. And it's, it's portrayed this myth that's just rolled and rolled, snowballed really, to where everything was bad, everything was negative, nothing was good. And as you heard him on the radio, that wasn't the case. And it comes back round to again the common thread is just shoot the messenger like they like the, the the what we call the state media have done that they, they, they've discredited Lenny Harper, Graham Power, and the rest of it. Mm -hmm. And it looks like this is what they're trying to do with you. Yes, well, as you know, I mean, if if you put your head above the parapet, if you take a contrary view to the the um, party line, as it were, in Jersey, you're in the firing line. I mean, we've had this sniping at us throughout the review. And I've made mention of that in my uh, in my foreword. And it, <clears throat> if we keep shooting the messenger, we're never going to get to the real facts. All I'm saying and all the panel are saying, don't attack us. Look at the facts. If the facts aren't there, then you can attack us. But the facts are there in this in this uh, review. It's fully vindicated doing it. Uh, again, we, we, we come back to the, to the media um, reporting on this because it's huge. Mm -hmm. It's one of the biggest things in, in your uh, report now. I attempted to get on BBC Radio Jersey this morning okay. to discuss this, to discuss your report, mm -hmm. and uh, I wasn't allowed on. They're not; they wouldn't let me allowed. They wouldn't let me on air mm. because they're they're not discussing this side of it. It was in fact about Graham Power's statement to Wiltshire that you mentioned this morning mm -hmm. on, on there okay. yourself. So, but I'm not allowed to go on air and talk about that. But isn't this exactly what the whole problem is? is the Jersey's media setting the agenda. I can't go on there and talk what I talk about something that's topical, but it's the whole media setting the agenda all the time. Isn't that the massive problem? Well, I think one of the reasons I, I wanted the recommendation about a scrutiny looking at media, I mean, it happens in the UK. Now, we don't want to interfere with freedom of the press. That would certainly be wrong. But when you've got these messages that are, are just one-sided, they're inaccurate, and it keeps being spun out and spun out, then that's got to be a problem. And if, if the media, the accredited media, won't allow different angles, then we'll never get to the bottom of things. And that's got to concern people, because we're a democracy. You know, let's look at the facts, let's argue about the facts, and then we can move forward. If you're only pumping out this one, this party line, as it were, then it, 
That's why people are so suspicious of what goes on. It's spin. So we've got to here, you know, mention um, Mick Gradwell, the former senior investigating officer of the child abuse investigation, who mm -hmm. took over from um, Lenny Harper. Mm -hmm. uh, now, it, it was said at, by the Home Affairs Minister at your scrutiny review that Gradwell would have faced disciplinary action mm -hmm. um, for his leaks, alleged leaks, to, to the media during a, a live child, this is during a live child mm -hmm. abuse inquiry. The senior investigating officer mm -hmm. is leaking, or, or, uh, accused of leaking mm -hmm. information. Um, and we, what we don't understand is why, have, why wouldn't the media mention this? Well, you have to say it was a huge disappointment to us that uh, Mr. Gradwell wouldn't come and give evidence to the panel. He was asked. Another yeah. thing that wasn't mentioned in the media, yeah. Yep. Um, and you have to say, if, if for consistency value alone, you know, if this had been Mr. Harper, because he's, his interaction with the, the media was heavily criticised, this would have been front page news. Now, why is this uh, revelation? And it's not new, as you know, because it yeah. came out within the hearing. Yeah. Never reported. Why? I mean, at, at the end of the day, this is the gentleman whose opinions have really largely made this snowball that everything was wrong with the operation. Yeah, he's been a, been a key player in, in this attitude. He wouldn't come to talk to us, which was a great shame. And why would they not report that? Well, isn't this, this is the, the irony of this is, is staggering because you were criticised for giving Voice for Children mm -hmm. a by Julia Gallishaw, mm -hmm. giving me an interview mm -hmm. and giving Channel Television an interview. Mm -hmm. And the media, the, the media reported on that, BBC mm -hmm. reported on that. Mm -hmm. But Mick Gradwell is accused of leaking information to a national, mm -hmm. not just a, a small blog in Jersey, mm -hmm. a national yep. newspaper. And it doesn't make the news. Come on, what's going on? Well, you have to say, you know, two completely different things. I mean, Mr. Gradwell's accused of leaking information from a live inquiry. I'm actually the chairman of a scrutiny sub-panel. Uh, I'm going to be doing interviews. Obviously, I gave one to yourselves as the citizens media. I gave interviews every time they actually turned up because they didn't turn up all the time. I gave them to the accredited media. And that's what the public would expect. Uh, because the angle, I suppose, the difference is I'm coming from the angle of openness and transparency. I'm saying, let's look at the facts. Let's look at what we've got. Let's discuss it. Um, why one gets reported and one doesn't. I think it comes out again to portraying a particular angle. And again, it probably, when it's done in negative, critical terms, it comes down to shoot the messenger. Mm, we need, well, this again, because... You, Roger Barra mentioned it this morning, good old Roger, like he does, mm. is uh, let's look forward. You know, what about, he, he suggested, what about the idea of, of looking forward? Mm -hmm. You know, forget about the past. Let's move on. Let, mm. Let's learn by our mistakes and, and move on. That's a typical Jersey attitude, isn't it? Mm. Um, do, do you agree? Let's, let's, let's bury it. Let's forget about it. Let's move on. Well, you have to look forward, but you just try telling the abuse victims to forget the past. You know, you can't understand your future without coming to terms and understanding your past. You can't know where you're going without facing up to the past. Yes, you learn by it, but it's just bearing it's not learning by it. And that's what Jersey's got to come to terms with. When you hear the speech, we, you know, the, the infamous Liberation Day speech, the real scandal is uh, the bad media, the press coverage that Jersey's had. That's an outrageous attitude. That doesn't help anyone. It, it doesn't benefit anyone in any way. We've got to look at if there's anything else that needs to be brought to book or needs to be dragged out into the daylight, as it were, we need to do that. Then, yes, you can move on, but you can't just bury things. Okay. Uh, now, you, you've been um, vocal, very vocal, in, in challenging the, the, the official line, especially concerning the child abuse, the, the inquiry, the expenditure, mm -hmm. uh, the rest of it. Um, and you've been searching for answers. Mm -hmm. um, Lenny Harper searched for answers, mm -hmm. and uh, he was pilloried uh, in, in, um, and slated in the, in, in the state media. Mm -hmm. uh, Graham Power searched for answers, mm -hmm. um, and, his, and, and he was dubiously, if not illegally, possibly illegal, we're not sure, but he was very dubiously <coughs> suspended from duty. Mm -hmm. 
Stuart Sivray searched for answers um, with the child abuse scandal, uh, same, uh, and, and he's in prison. Yep. So, do you think I've just predicted your future? Well, you would hope not, but I, I think the state jersey's in at the moment. Um, if you take a contrary view to what's been put out, the nice, acceptable party line, as it were, you're at risk. Um, perhaps that's why there's so few people who do stand up in the States and outside the States. You know, people often talk about this culture of fear. I'm not afraid, but I'm a realist. I will keep looking for the answers. I'll, I'll keep doing the right thing. My only allegiance, as I said, is to the truth. I'm not perfect by any means, but surely it's the duty of an elected member to be true to what they said, to be true to their values, and we're there to serve people. And burying things as uh, seems to be the way in Jersey, uh, that's, that's not something I'll ever do. So who knows what consequences. Ironically, I, I was told by two senators when I asked questions about the 1-1 case and the way we let certain people in here, that I should be careful because something might happen to me. Now, is that said in jest or is that said as a warning? I don't know. Because there does seem to be a lot of this um, intimidation and fear and, and since you've started this BDO, uh, mm -hmm. the, the the look into the expenditure of of, of the mm -hmm. historical child abuse, you you have been somewhat intimidated and threatened. Uh, there has been smear campaigns. You have had uh, threatening phone calls mm -hmm. and the rest of it. Doesn't yeah. it intimidate you slightly, or what does it say about what Jersey's coming to? If if this sort of behaviour mm -hmm. is going on, what, what does it say about our society? I think it says that we've got a very, there's a very sick element to society. Um, I don't let it intimidate me. It's not very nice. We saw, as you say, it really began quite soon after I got involved in this review, but we've seen it with uh, my wife, Deputy Shona Pittman, um, smear campaign run during the election uh, by people who are now in the States. What does that say about us? Um, if I'd done such a thing, I know I would have been, to use your word, pilloried. Uh, people don't want, uh, they don't want to sort of face themselves in the mirror, I think. Uh, yeah, it takes a bit of guts to do it, but that's the person I am. I'm not alone. There's other people who are willing to stand up. And it's the only way we're going to move forward, you know. Um, I'm not going to be bullied. I don't do being bullied.